Hey there! In this lesson, we will practice skip counting by fives, tens, and hundreds. Let's start with fives. The trick here is that the last digit of each count is an alternating five and zero. Let's count the oranges here so we can see how it works. Since each plate has five oranges, we will skip count by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 oranges. Again, if you look at the last digits of each count, it's just alternates, five and zero. Let's try this again by counting these cakes. Each table has five cakes, so let's skip count by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20 cakes. Easy as pie. Let's move on to counting by tens. This time, the last digit of every count stays zero, and the only thing that will change is the first digit. To understand this more, help me count these coins. Each stack has 10 coins, so we'll be counting by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40 coins. Notice that the first digits are 1, 2, 3, and 4. Just like counting single digits and then adding 0 at the end of each number. Let's do another tens practice by counting all the dots here. Each domino piece has 10 dots. So if we count the dots, we'll have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 dots. Good job! Lastly, let's count by hundreds. This is very similar to counting by tens, though instead of having one zero at the end, we'll have two. For example, let's count these papers. Let's say each stack has 100 papers. Then we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500 sheets of paper. If you look at it, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 as the first digits. Then two zeros are simply added at the end of each of them. You did great! That sums up our practice on skip counting by fives, tens, and hundreds. See you next time!